The Final Word on Imagination Practice It doesn't matter what religious, spiritual, or philosophical background or viewpoint you come from. It doesn't matter how you describe it. Imagination practice, visualization, mental picturing, or using my terminology, theater of your mind. What's important is that you do it. If you will choose a target to apply this to and give it a solid, honest, 21-day trial, you will be so gratified with the results that you will certainly choose to continue using this tool for the rest of your life and benefit enormously by doing so, just as countless athletes, entertainers, doctors, lawyers, business leaders, and others have before you. Here are a few exercises to get you started. Try this mental training exercise. Your present self-image was built on your own imagination pictures of yourself in the past, which grew out of interpretations and evaluations you placed on experience. Now you are to use the same method to build an adequate self-image that you previously used to build an inadequate one. Set aside a period of 30 minutes each day where you can be alone and undisturbed. Relax and make yourself as comfortable as possible. Now, close your eyes and exercise your imagination. Many people find they get better results if they imagine themselves sitting before a large motion picture screen and imagine that they are seeing a motion picture of themselves. The important thing is to make these pictures as vivid and as detailed as possible. You want your mental pictures to approximate actual experience as much as possible. The way to do this is to pay attention to small details, sights, sounds, objects in your imagined environment. Details of the imagined environment are all important in this exercise because for all practical purposes, you are creating a practice experience. And if the imagination is vivid enough and detailed enough, your imagination practice is equivalent to an actual experience, insofar as your nervous system is concerned. The next important thing to remember is that during these 30 minutes you see yourself acting and reacting appropriately, successfully, ideally. It doesn't matter how you acted yesterday. You do not need to try to have faith you will act in the ideal way tomorrow. Your nervous system will take care of that in time, if you continue to practice. See yourself acting, feeling, being as you want to be. Do not say to yourself, I'm going to act this way tomorrow. Just say to yourself, I'm going to imagine myself acting this way now, for 30 minutes, today. Imagine how you would feel if you were already the sort of personality you want to be. If you've been shy and timid, see yourself moving among people with ease and poise and feeling good because of it. If you've been fearful and anxious in certain situations, see yourself acting calmly and deliberately, acting with confidence and courage, and feeling expansive and confident because you are. This exercise builds new memories or stored data in your midbrain and central nervous system. It builds a new image of self. After practicing it for a time, you will be surprised to find yourself acting differently, more or less automatically and spontaneously without trying. This is as it should be. You do not need to take thought or try or make an effort now in order to feel ineffective and act inadequately. Your present inadequate feeling and doing are automatic and spontaneous because of the memories, real and imagined, you have built into your automatic mechanism. You will find it will work just as automatically upon positive thoughts and experiences as upon negative ones. Step 1. Take pad and pen and write out a brief outline or description of the mental movie you intend to construct, experiment with, develop, and view in the theater in the mind. Step 2. Set aside 30 minutes a day, preferably at the same time each day, to find a quiet, private place, relax, close your eyes, enter your theater, and begin playing, editing, replaying your movie. Step 3. Gradually massage your movie so that its star, you, performs exactly as you desire and achieves the experience and results you desire. Strive to arrive at this point within the first 10 days. Step 4. For the remaining 11 days, play and enjoy that movie repeatedly, without change.